Welcome back to Best Man Made. I'm your guy, Mac. I got a knock on my door today. Doesn't really happen too often because most people ring the doorbell. Anyway, I got a knock on my door. I go downstairs, I open the door, and I see no one. I look down, and I see my package. Well, at least I see a package that's for me from the good people of Working Stiffs. Bam! I was so glad to see this for a lot of reasons. It seems as though the good people of Working Stiffs might have saw a video to with your boy in it checking out their products. Well, I'll tell you this. A lot of channels do product reviews. I don't like product reviews because product reviews, they don't care about the product. I only do products that I like. Products that I actually check out and say, man, these products are pretty damn dope. So I tell you what, I'm excited to see what's in this box. I feel like Christmas has come early. So go ahead, light your fire, put on jingle bells, put a little bit of bourbon inside your eggnog. It's gonna be a ho, ho, ho good time. Roll it. I'm ready to crack this bad boy open. When I got it today, I could not hardly wait. So I went ahead, threw on something really jiggy. Mmm. Did I say jiggy? First, I want to say when I saw the box, I was, I was totally excited. Because, I mean, I was thinking, man, I'm about to get a ton. Uh oh, that's my, that's my shipping label right there. Can't see that. I was about to say, man, I'm about to get a ton of these, um, of these stiffs, these, these, these power stays. So I was like, yo, it's about to be a real Merry Christmas. I got these for like life. But let's see what's actually in there. This is not a paid advertisement, okay? Not a paid advertisement. This is just something that I got. I want to share with you. Whether you like it or not, see what's inside. Mm. Oh, man. It's hard to do this and, like, hold it at the same time. But we're going to make it happen. All right, I got a ton of crap. Hold up. Yo! Oh man, all right, all right, all right, bet. Okay, I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little excited. I, I mean, I feel like Christmas is here. It's not quite Christmas, but it feels like Christmas today. Well, right on top, looks like they got this nice little uh, catalog. Working Stiffs, the style manual for the working man. The 10th anniversary? I didn't know these guys have been in business. Well, I will say this. I learned about Working Stiffs because I saw uh, I saw them on Shark Tank, and I remember it being a pretty interesting uh, episode. But I will say this, the guy, the CEO, I forget his name, but the CEO said uh, he's not so concerned about the money. He wants someone that can get him to the next level. And that, that really hit me because, I mean, that's a less get made thing, right? Being progressive, getting to the next level, networking, all that good stuff. So that's somebody that really cares about the product or believes in it one or the other. But anyway, let's go and peep it out. So, 10th anniversary. Uh, shoot, it just jumped. Oh, whoa. It j whoa. Oh. Okay. Damn, looks like they sell a lot more than just power stays. Um, yo, tie bars? What are these? Cuff knots? Look at that. Mm. Cuff knots, tie bars, handkerchiefs, right? Um, dude. Oh, no, they don't. They got a bag? They got a bag? They got a messenger bag? Yo, the valet. Okay. Y'all got to bear me one second. I don't want to go ahead and peep some of this out, all right? So just, just stand by for one second. Hold up. I'll be damned. I totally did not know they did more than just the power stage. Sorry. But, I mean, again, when I saw the, uh, I remember seeing the episode, but that was years ago. I mean, when I got the actual power stays, I went to Nordstrom and got it, but, yo, people this out, this is actually pretty cool. So, oh, 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 okay. All right, as I might have assumed, the stays, the stiff and stay, I just call them power stays, but the stiff and stay, it looks like it's uh, the white plastic stays. Oh, these look pretty daggone fresh. Look at this. Look at that peacock right there, baby. Ooh. 
This is pretty dope. Um, so you've already seen the video. If you haven't, the video is right here. Ooh. So check that video out. It tells you what I did when I was talking about working steps. But anyway, these look really, really cool. So I'm actually definitely gonna rock these. In fact, yo, I need some today. This is what's funny, kind of ironic, right? So I threw it on because it was, you know, I just want to get with the colors, you know, it's festive. But the problem with this particular shirt is no power stays, right? It looks, it looks, uh, yeah, it looks flappy. Looks like John Travolta type, you know, 1970s, you know, whatever. So I probably throw one of these in real quick and make it happen. Hold up. Oh, damn. Uh, well, I had to cut this out because I don't really have the slit to stick this in, but that's okay. This is a good freaking thing to have. Yo, tie bars. Tie bars, yo. Do you see that? Tie bars. Very important. I don't know if I have talked about tie bars on this channel yet. Um, I don't have a tie on right now, but I do know it's between the second and the third. I think it's the, yeah, it's the second and the third button when you put an actual tie bar on. And um, this is like a damn good tie bar. You know, it's a good stainless steel, very classic one to have. But when you put it on, you wanna put it between the second and the third button. So somewhere in between there, all right? Some guys have them way too high, and some guys have them way too low. But that's another video. Now this, it says, uh, what are these? Power buttons, okay? Power buttons, I'm not sure what power buttons do. But um, they look pretty damn snazzy. They actually, power buttons. What is a power button? Is that for your shirt? You see that color in there? It looks like you got black, blue, and white. Ooh. You gotta coordinate your looks. Dude, handkerchiefs, all right? You gotta get your hanky game right. Man, again, I'm not prepared. If I had a jack, wait, I do have a jacket. Hold on, hold on. Oh, shut up. This is what we're about to do right here. Let me show you something. Y'all over here bullshit. I'm going to show you something dope. I'm going to show you something hot. Watch your boy Mac. Uh oh, here we go. I wear phone tablet. This is to clean it off. This is microfiber pocket square. Y'all getting that cotton shit. When you're rubbing your, your, your glasses, you get them all scratched up. Nah. Working Stiffs has you taken care of. Now watch this. Just so happens, I got something that I might be able to rock. One of my gifts, at least today. Let's see what we got. Um, okay, well, I don't have... Oh, I got scissors. I got scissors. <clears throat> Look at that. Look at that. Okay, which side? Which side? I'm going to do this. Got more blue on it. All right. Pinch. Put in. How am I looking? You see that? How am I looking? Your boy looking fly with it. Look how I popped the collar with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, man? Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, okay. Y'all trying to do that later? No problem. I'll be there. I said I'll be there. I got you. Oh, what's up? How you doing, baby? Okay, so yeah. What you want to, you want to get a nice uh, old-fashioned? How about a Kentucky Mule? You'll love it. So you boys did that? R-F-I-D. You, know you know what those four letters mean? R-F-I-D. Really freaking incredible deep. no that's not what it means actually it means uh something with radio frequency i think radio frequency identification something like that but it looks like what we have is a nice wallet from your boys at working steps now this i mean they got everything branded to a t do we go over branding yet? man look branding is king they got everything like detailed i mean to the bone it's freaking nice my wallet I got now, I don't even want to show y'all, man. This wallet, this thing been through some, this been through some rough, some rough times, man. I don't even want to show you, man. I'll show you real quick. Are right, you ready? Bam! So this one right here is like a slim version of what I got. But the RFID is what you need. Reason why, I'm out with the twins. We're traveling a lot, right? A lot of airport, you know, going back and forth. But I do some international travel. And it's very important that you kind of keep your ID and your, and your cards kind of protected, right? Bam! Oh my God, 
what did they do to your boy Mac? This right here looks official. Okay, so this is like a traveling bag, right? They call it a, a doppel bag traveling tote. Um, it says it is 100% silicon. Wow. 100% silicon, that means like if you, uh, good example, good example. You have been traveling. Now, let, me, let me go ahead and throw this in. I'm a, this is how you know this is official. We fly a lot, right? Turns out we fly a lot. We go a lot of places. Um, we fly Virgin. We fly American. We fly Delta. We fly United. Now, let me just tell you. Let me just be honest with you. United flights have been the absolute worst for us. I'll put it out there. Something about United, I don't know. We, uh, I think Keith and Kevin, I think one of them had their bags taken. Um, the guy, remember we missed the plane? If you didn't see it, here goes a quick clip. Bam! What Kevin had? Oh, he back there. He back there. He back there, though. I don't see him. I don't see him, man. There he is. Oh, there you go. Catch up, y'all, man. Catch up with us. Oh, fast as shit. Hell yeah. Hey, this shit about to leave. time to take a piss? Hell no. Damn. <laughs> see what I'm saying? It only happens with United. We also recently, uh, the, all that turbulence and stuff, I mean, I've, look, there was this one time we actually, we landed, we were doing good, you know, coming in and everything. We're like, okay, we're about to, you know, about to touch down. All of a sudden, the cat just, no joke. I mean, we hit that bad boy like, bam! It was like that, straight up. I know I look a little bit animated doing it, but I'm excited, and that's exactly how it happened. My last trip to Florida, I went and I had a really... You saw the, the, the Armani code, right? The Armani code was in my bag. Somehow it got busted. Took the bag to my hotel room. Disaster. Everything smelled like cologne. My toothbrush was in there. This looks like what you could do is probably wash it out very easy. I imagine just run this under the, like a sink or probably even in your shower. I mean, this bad boy is exactly what you need. All right, so I'm going to have to peek this out. I mean, I haven't used it yet. But it looks official, man. I actually haven't seen a traveling bag that's <laughs> built quite like this. Bam! So it looks to be um, a traveling kit for power stays, which is really cool. Um, so that probably should fall. Oh, that clip's really nice and lean. Look at the detail, the green in there. The boy Mac got greens so he could put his green in the green. <laughs> so yeah, okay, so how does this work, man? Oh, dude, listen. Polo stays. Shut up. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. We're gonna figure out how to do this real quick. Remember I said I ain't got no uh I don't have no um insert, right? It looks as though you can take oh man. So I'm taking this little part out right here, right? It looks as though this sticks to the back. Oh, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see where it go, right? It should go right about there. And you put the magnet. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Oh, man. Hold up. Get the magnet, right? Let's see. Oh, dude. Stop it. Stop it. Real life functionality. I dude, I couldn't have asked. I mean, can you can you see that? I just fixed my collar with the too much. I didn't even heard of these things. What are these called? These called these are called polo stays. I just used two of them. I don't know about y'all, but that just made my day. That might have made my entire season. I have a ton of denim shirts that I've been trying to figure out how to get the collar to stay down because I don't have the power stay. And there you go. Awesome, awesome move. I totally did not see that coming. Let me tell you something else I didn't see coming when I was when I was. When I was flipping through this book, I'm going to tell you something else I didn't see coming. I didn't see anything in here where it displays a picture of a little boy. 
Because, you know, basically, this is not little boy stuff. This is grown man stuff. This is men that are on a grown man grind, out there making moves. There might be a lot of other channels out there that talk about style. But I don't know, do they keep it 100? Maybe, maybe not. As we all know on Best Man Made, boys are born, but men are made. We'll see you next time. Now, when that happens, I get the dreaded collar spread. I hate this. This 70s collar spread throws the whole look off. So I gotta wait to tell you how to fix that. These are called power stays. Power stays specifically is a working step. See if you can see that. See if we zoom in on that. Can we zoom in on that? All right, boy. So these are power stays. They're stiffs that you put pretty much in your collar that stay magnetically so that it sits right up. 